out walking the other day, I heard the Holy Spirit ask me this question. He said this, can you see the wind? And as I heard this question, I began to look all around me while walking. And that day the wind was blowing extremely strong. And the Holy Spirit said, look all around you. Can you see the wind? And what I saw was the leaves rustling. I saw the branches swaying back and forth. I felt my jacket that I had on that very day opening and closing. I felt the resistance of the wind. I heard the garbage cans knocking because of the wind's effect. What the Holy Spirit began to say to me is, Sherry, my presence is in your life. You may not see me, but look at my effects. Recognize when I've speak, spoken a word in your life and that word is materialized and things have changed and shifted. Recognize that I'm there. And I began to sit with this and the Holy Spirit took me to the word of God. He took me to John chapter three, verse eight. The wind blows where it wishes and you hear its sound, but you do not know where it is coming from and where it is going. So it is everyone who is born of the spirit. Then I began to sit with this and I said, the wind blows and I hear. The spirit speaks and I hear it. The spirit speaks and I hear it. I hear what the spirit is, is saying. The Bible says, he that hath an ear, let him hear what the spirit of the Lord is saying. Friends, I want you to be encouraged. The presence of the Holy Spirit is in your life. Just because you don't see him doesn't mean he's not affecting and effecting the environment. Who's around you, what's around you, where you are. He's speaking, but do you hear? He's blowing, but do you see? Have eyes to see, have ears to hear what the Holy Spirit is doing in your life. The hand of the Lord, the power of the Lord is present. You just have to open your eyes and see it. You just have to recognize that it's there by the effects of the Spirit, the effects of what the Holy Spirit has spoken to you, the effects of the Word of God, the change that is occurring in you and around you. John chapter 3 verse 8, Jesus was explaining to Nicodemus how to be born again and what that looked like and the expression of being born again and how it happened. It's spiritual. Everything in our lives has a spiritual undertone. The Holy Spirit is at work and we know that it is at work by the manifestation of what's happening around us. Open your eyes. Ask the Lord for eyes to see and ears to hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying and doing. Be blessed, be inspired, and know that God is working on your behalf. The wind is blowing.